Hey together, Aaron the Black Dragon's back. And I welcome all of you to another part of Pokemon Emerald. In the last episode we made it to Tree... Top Town... What was your name? Fort Tree City. But we cannot go to the gym fight in there because something invisible is blocking our path there. And so we decided to go down here and had a fight with the camera team. So let's just... Hi. My Pokemon is strong, how about yours? Um, my, my Pokemon are strong, how about yours? Eh, that did not work perfectly. I was gonna go for like, uh, my world's on fire, how about yours? Kind of vibe there, but... Anyway, Rock Tomb. A safeguard will not help you, because the status ailment that you're gonna get is death. And yet another bird has been buried by Toph. Good job, Top. <coughs> yeah, Pokemon were strong. Gare. Sorry, strong Gare. You can be you can be counted on to get better. I'd like to register you in my Pokenav. Hey, why did I Ugh. Okay. Anyway, let's move forward. There's also an item there, but I can already tell you that there is an investable thing blocking our path. So Hmm, weird shadow on the road. Oh, hi there. Hmm, Laika, hi. It's been a while. There's something here that you can't see, right? Now, if I were to use this device on the invisible obstacle... No, no, rather than describing it, I should just show you. That would be more fun. Laika, are your Pokémon ready for battle? Sure. Laika, show me your true powers, trainer. Steve used the Devon Scope. An invisible Pokemon became, became completely visible. A sudden Pokemon attack. Uh. Oh my gosh. It's a Kecleon. Who would have thought? Actually, Psybeam. Cool. If you think so. Let's rock to him. And now your speed fell. If I wanted to kill that thing, I could not go for Iron Tail because I have my own combination of making it weak against myself and then murdering it. That however is better right now because now I can try and catch it. Back. Great ball. I need more balls. Jiggle. Wiggle, biggle, fliggle. Kekion was caught. Kekion, a colorful Pokemon. A Pokemon that has the ability to alter its body colors to match its surroundings. A Kekion reverts to its original colors if it is startled. Boo! Gotcha. You're such a douchebag. Uh, you're gonna be called Shifty. Because you're shifting your colors. With two F's and two T's and three Y's. Shifty. Shifty. I see. Your battle style is intriguing. Your Pokemon have ob obviously grown since I first met you in Duford. I'd like you to have this Devon Scope. Who knows? There may be other, po other concealed Pokemon. Devon Scope. I could put away the Devon Scope in the key item pocket. Laika, I enjoy seeing Pokemon and Trainer who strive together. I think you're doing great. Well, let's meet again sometime. Bye! Now we have... Also, you may have realized that I did not put uh, Shifty on the side screen there. It's not in our party because I'm gonna go and put Shifty away immediately. Because Shift is not gonna be in the party. Nope. But before we deal with... The gym. I wanna go and grab our final party member. Which should be no problem. Also, let's just quickly check the summary. Changes the type of a fo to foe's move. Which can be super helpful or can be super stupid. Because, again, 
I use the rock type move and then if I use an iron type move that thing's gone and I don't even need to switch my Pokemon. Or in the case of Altaria, I use Dragon Breath two times, you're down. Uh, you have some good special defense, not bad. You have Faint, Fury Swipe, Psybeam and Screech. Well, some interesting stuff, you get stored. And then let's leave this place, also let's heal the party up because why not? Why not? But now we can see the unseeable things. Nice, isn't it? We also have the same advantage with uh, Kara, I just realized. Because Kara can use Mud Shot and afterwards can use um, Water Gun. Hopefully, or Surf. No, we don't have Surf. Water Gun, because we don't have a stronger water move yet. And get an advantage that way. So. As much as uh, Kecleon is a cool Pokemon, it has its disadvantages. Something unseeable, let's use it. Invisible Pokemon, oh my god, it's startled, it will attack us. Oh my god! Good. I'm just gonna run away from it, because we don't need to fight them. See, they just run away. Nest ball. Got some... Balls. Also, I can now show you where I would normally have my uh, secret base. Let's go down. Woo. Hi, bud. Do you have any moves that can strike a flying Pokemon? Yes. Yes, I do. Well, unless you mind, unless unless you mind, like actually flying, because then no. Sadly, I don't. But I would love for Toph to get some better moves, period. Like, Rock Tomb is nice and everything, and we buried a lot of birds in this run. Like, seriously, there's so many bird, bird Pokemon along the path. But I would love to bury them with something a little bit stronger than just Rock Tomb. Also something that has maybe a little bit more hitting power. Not you. Yeah, we're gonna stick with that. Not you. And Rock Tomb, Nightshade. Not too concerned about that, but cool. Bum 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 bum. Get axed. Beautiful. And level up. Beautiful. That's what I wanted to see. I love speed by three. I mean, not bad. Toph needs a little bit of extra speed. You're sort above me. Yeah, with rocks. <laughs> I'm gonna try not to fight too many trainers in here because I wanna have my new party member first and I should be able to get that one in this grassy already I guess I'm not 100% sure on that but I think well we'll see Essentially is what I think right now. Yeah, no, we should be able to get it right here You're not what I was thinking about we could catch yourself a mighty Ina though I'm gonna do that after we have the tomb party man because if I catch you now Then I have you in my party and then I have to go back to actually get the new party member in the team so everything with with its time You're still not what I was looking for Which is a first trading. Gosh, there's so much going on. Getting out of a fight right now is really tedious. So, but it should be here. It's Meryl! You never would have thought that, but it's actually Meryl. The new party member is Meryl. It's not. You know what? Just give me a short moment, I'm gonna look something up. Okay, I'm back and I just looked up if I was correct with my assumption and yes, I'm 100% correct, so... Now it's just a question of me actually finding that thing, which... Um, 
if I remind myself of the Heracross uh, spectacle that we had for uh, Hard Gold, I don't have high hopes for anything here right now. Because we never found a... No, there it is! We did it! Absol! Because we never found a Heracross. It's raining! I'm also thinking about if Toph out there was the wrong choice, because Toph is strong. Um, what are your attacks? Astonished, Dragon Breath. I think... Actually, Kara is probably the one that I can send out without having to worry about killing it, because Kara is also the weakest one right now. And you need some leveling up. So let's water gun you. Okay. Oh. I'm a little bit nervous right now because water gun is a little bit stronger because of the rain. Of course, of course I get a high roll right now. Oh, well, whatever, you get a level up. So there you go, Kara. Finally some love for you. Yeah, I'm gonna switch out to Kara still. Well, actually, what moves do you have? Stun spell will help. And strength after that? Strength is strong though, and you have high attack. Well, Mega Drain actually is not that strong. Okay, you know what? We're gonna switch you out. Vitaly, what do you ho hold? Super Potion. Thanks, Vitaly. Now I just need to run around and find yet another Absol. That didn't take too long, luckily, the first time. It's just that we have to go through a lot of animations for that. Because of weather. Come on, get lucky, give me the Pokemon I'm looking for. Why don't you give me what I want to have? Obnoxious. I could technically just cut forward to till we find another one. You know what? I'm gonna cut forward until we find another one, so this, this episode doesn't run unnecessarily long just because I wanna find that. So see ya once we have another one. There we go! Another episode, and this one's level 27, so get out of this still a little bit better. Stun spore? Perfect. I just wanna give myself a little bit of an edge with having the chance to actually catch it. So, no Mag Punch, no Fighting type moves, we're gonna just use Mega Drain to get it down a little bit. Yeah, that's weak, that's good. That was a good critical hit there. I wonder what other moves you have, Absol. Mega Drain, Mega Drain, give me all your healthy health. Yeah, it's really good, we don't deal too much damage. Oh. Of that thing. Nice. Mega Drain. There we go. Now I'm gonna try and catch you. Paralyzed, can't be moved. <laughs> so, um, let's try an Ultra Ball. Let's just make sure because you're still in the orange. I mean, you're paralyzed, but still. Nope. Just broke out of that immediately. Whipped up another whirlwind. Come on. Stay. Why? Yes, Razor Wind. That hurts a little bit. The only one that I could send in that technically still can deal damage is Vitaly at this point, but I have the feeling that Vitaly would die before it can do anything. Oh boy, why don't you wanna stand in there? I mean I have the timer ball, which I'm gonna use as my last resort if I'm not getting anywhere. But seriously... Stay! At least jiggle! Ya douchebag! Maybe it's because it's not a fem female. 
Because my whole party so far is female except for Vitaly. Come on! At least you jiggled once, so I cannot be that mad. You know what? You're dealing damage. I don't like having to deal with damage, so... There you go. Have some fun with Toph. Wow, that's still a lot of damage there. I'm gonna use my iron defense, bolster myself a little bit. And just make sure with two moves that I'm not getting hurt anytime soon. I'm also doing this to buy some extra time for the time of all. Yeah, there you go. Less damage can be dealt. Great ball. Yeah, there we go. You saw my iron defense and you were intimidated, mate. Absol, the, the disaster, disaster Pokemon. Pokemon. It sharply senses even subtle changes in the sky and the land to predict natural disasters. It is a long-lived Pokemon that has a lifespan of 100 years. Yeah, Absol might die today. Who knows? Why is it so weird? Um. Dang it, I had the name for you and I completely forgot it. Um. Uh, um, um, I, I, oh yeah, I'm gonna, the, one, You don't have wings in this yet, so... Wait. The one-eared. One-eared! Let's take a look at one-eared. Uh, raises foes PP usage. Oh, pressure, that's good actually. You have some good attack, your defense is horrible, but you have some good speed. You have quick attack, razor wind, bite and sword dance. Sword dance is really good. And we're gonna have some double fights coming up here. So I'm gonna send you up front for that. But now we have the full party. The one eared was the last one that I have, that I had planned for this team to be in. So, we are now fully set up. Now, anything that the game can throw at us will probably be death. So, you literally gave me a super potion just before and so just let's use that because why not. So, let's see. Let's see the one eared in in fights. Boom. Hello. Your party Pokemon. Do you have different types? Yes, I do. Me, Pokemon, and my Parasol. If any one of them, them is missing, the picture of beauty will be ruined. Me thinks you're a tiny bit weird. It's okay. Being weird is totally okay. What's up? A cast form. Hey, we can see a different form for cast form. It's raining, so that means form change. Now it's rainy. Uh, which means that... Um, there's no advantage in my party this time. Thunder, that hurts. Ouch, for fuck's sake. Kara, you come out. Because we cannot joke around with that. Because that was... Not okay. Water pulse? That hurts. 
Ouch! Just immediately killed my fucking starter hand! What the heck? Okay, um... You can drain that thing and with you I'm gonna use some revives. Holy! That was bull! So let's start it off with you because we wanna train you up. Well, the first fight for the one year and it was just death for everyone. Cool. Holy bull. Water pulls. That's not smart. You're an idiot. Ugh, but whatever. So let's make a drain you again and use the bag and give Toph some life back. Holy bullshit. Thunder wave. Wow. I immediately hate you so much, Manectric. Like, for real. Ah, so close. Water pools. Okay, apparently your cast form doesn't know any other moves. That dealt more damage than I'm okay with water pools dealing to a water type Pokemon. Like, seriously, that was a lot. I hate you. Hey, you're not gonna take me out, but I'm gonna take you out now. Hopefully. Why does nobody wanna die? Ugh, they are frustrating. Both of them are really annoying. So I, I'm gonna use a soda with you to heal up Kara. And Kara, you're gonna use Mud Shot. I wanna have the Manette taken care of because I hate that thing. Everyone gets a little bit of experience, that's not a lot. That's so much damage, that's not okay. Okay, Mega Drain that thing and then, like, take it down. Don't care. And Water Pulse again. And do that, continue doing that. That still deals a lot of damage, but I don't care as much. Oh boy. Stupidly strong. Everyone gets a little bit of experience. I've seen your policy in action. I've seen you douchebags. You've completely ruined my beauty. Yes. Shut up. Shut up. You, you two murdered just my team here. I'm the one who has any right to be upset here, not you. For the love of... Okay, let's see. Burp. We ninja conceal ourselves under our camouflage cloaks. I bet you didn't know where I was. Yeah, no, I had no clue. If you don't pay attention, you could get hurt. This is a threat and I cannot crack my knuckles right now. There we go, that at least worked. Okay. And Meditite. I already hate this constellation again! Because Meditite can be such a big problem. Well, actually both of them can be a real problem for uh, Toph. Let's go and bite you, hopefully you flinch, good. Fucking Toph! Okay. Um, there's only one thing that I can do right now that will make sure that Toph does not die. Because Toph has a lot of defense, but that's like four times weakness. I do not care. No! I attacked the wrong one. I... Okay, I couldn't have attacked uh, Meditide anyway. So the attack went wrong no matter what. Haha, uh -huh, you attacked Fleep. My burp! Uh, let's go for Dragon Breath on that thing. 
and bite you. Beautiful, good job, Fleep. Fleep will be helpful for the gym fight that we are about to have. Good job, Meditate, taken care of. I hate... I hate... I hate that. Makuhita will be a problem for the one year. So even though I would normally want to get rid of coughing, I need to get rid of the Makuhita here. Good job, Fleep. You really started... Started to get stronger once you evolved. Flinch? No, but sludge. Okay. I can take that, as long as it's not a self-destruct or anything else like this. Dragon Breath is stupid and I love it. Whew. I lost. I should have camouflaged my shame. Ouch! I was the one to get hurt. Didn't take care of yourself. Anyway. Oh, dang it, I saw you and I forgot about you. Pokemon have many special abilities. If you want to become a first class trainer, trainer, learn about them. Sorry, I said trainer twice. Probably didn't even realize that I said it twice, hmm? Hey, it's Sableye! Now, if instead of Toph we would have gotten Sableye earlier in this run, we wouldn't have gotten uh, the one ear today. The team would have looked a little bit different because of that. So, yeah. This is the change that would have... Uh, the Pokemon that would have changed a lot, depending on what we would have gotten for our team. Just Sableye. Oh, you protect yourself. I'm still gonna go and bite at you. Bite. Can you stop using Detect? Can, do you, does your Sableye know any other moves than Detect? I just realized. Sword Dance. Because if you're just gonna use Detect, I can use Sword Dance. Upping my attack, making sure that it can take you down faster. And bite. Detect failed, and I bite. And I feel like you're gonna use Detect again, so I'm gonna use Sword Dance yet again. You did not Detect, so what's your... What's your shtick now? Faint attack. Okay. Well. I raised my attack twice, so... Where does that let you... St where does that let you? That was less damage than I dealt the other time. Without... That was weird. I used... Three sword dances by now, I think. Three or two. And I feel like the attack did not go up that mu much. Yeah, three sword dances, and I don't feel like my attack went that much higher by now. Yeah, we... Am I stupid right now, or... Something feels off, because I used my sword dance to deal more damage. Is Sword Dance only for one move? No, it can't be because it raises the attacks that sharply. I'm conflicted right now. This is weird. This is weird and stupid. Fight. Now that was a little bit more. Ah, Fury. Of course he started off with a fucking critical hit there as well. Gonna have to heal again. Because for some odd reason, four sword dances and it don't deal that much more damage. Which is weird. Um... Is that because the Dark-type moves in this generation were not physical? 
But it should be. I mean, it's bite. I don't know. This generation is the generation that is the weirdest for me in terms of what is physical and what is not physical. Because I think after the generation we finally had the clear distinction between what moves got physical and what aren't. Because there it was still really weird. Well, anyway, I'm gonna show you where I normally place down my secret base. It's right here. And this is because you have the three berry spots right here. It's not the most berry spots that you can have next to a, a secret base. But they are permanently watered, so you don't need to worry about watering your berries here. So, this is the place where I always placed my secret base down. And it's also a spacious. Uh, secret base period so can only recommend that one anyway we're gonna go back because next time we're gonna have a gym fight to take care of yep and we now have the full party and for next time we have top to go in there and rack up a whole gym with boulders and also before we end this off I'm gonna heal my party and I'm gonna take a look at the TMs and stuff that, that I have, because maybe I can teach something good to uh, the one-eared. Thank you for healing my party. Let's see. What do we have on TMs? Thief instead of... Na well, mean. Let me just take a look. Yeah, you're able to learn that. Let me just take a look. Bite is strong and may cause flinch. I mean, being able to steal a move, but... Uh, steal a move, steal an item, but not that worth it. Facade. Where is the when Poison, burn, or paralyzed, yeah. Torment, sandstorm, shockwave, double team dig. Thunderbolt. Can anyone of my party learn Thunderbolt? You actually can, but you're not good with special attacks, so I don't know why I would do that. Book up toxic roar. And there's no good stuff here. Yeah, I don't really have any good TMs. Which is a shame. Now, well, anyway. That's going to be it for this episode. Next time we're gonna challenge yet another gym leader and grab ourselves another badge. And then we can fly across the world, which will be nice. But until then, hope you enjoyed it and see you next time. Bye.